Taking a look at question number seven from the multiplying decimals worksheet, we have 6.48 and we are multiplying it by 1.2. Now remember, you do not have to line up the decimals. You shouldn't line up the decimals because you're going to have more work if you do. Because um, in order to line them up, we'd have to add, we'd have to make it 1.20 and then we'd have to account for that zeros column. Um, so, we are just doing basic multiplication. Uh, we're thinking of 648 times 12. Okay, that is the multiplication problem we are doing. Um, and then at the end, we are going to worry about the decimal. Okay, so starting off, we're multiplying 2 times 8. And we get 16, carry the 1. Then we're going to multiply 2 times 4, which is 8 plus 1, we get 9, okay, and then we multiply 2 times 6, which is 12. So that's our 1's place. Now we're going to move to the 10's place, which means that we need to lay an egg, put in a placeholder, however you want to think about it, um, and then we are going to multiply 1 times 8, which is 8, 1 times 4, which is 4, and 1 times 6, pretty easy one for the last one, uh, which is equal to 6. Okay. And, whoops, sorry, I forgot to change my colors back and forth there. Let me go back and redo that. We did 1 times 8, which was 8, 1 times 4, which was 4, and 1 times 6, which was 6. And we're adding all of that together. Uh, 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. We need to carry the 1. 4 plus 2 is 6. 7. And then our final one, 1 plus 6, is 7. So we got some lucky 7s there. Um, now we're going to look at the decimal place. Um, so we have two places after the decimal here. Um, so you've got the decimal and you've got 4 and 8 to the right. Okay, so that's two places, plus one place to the right of the decimal here, the point 2. And 1 plus 2 is equal to three places. So we, for our final answer, we have an imaginary decimal there. We're going to move it 1, 2, 3 places for a final answer of 7.776. And we want to make sure that makes sense. Uh, we've got close to six and a half and it's going to end up being a little bit multiplied by a number that's a little bit larger than one. So yes, it would make sense for the answer to be in the sevens. Um, it would not make sense to have 0.776 or 0.7776. Uh, it wouldn't make sense to have 776 or 77.6 um, or 77.76. So this is the only placement of the decimal that makes sense. Uh, and then we're just going to write that down as our final answer. We have, and remember I asked you guys to write these off to the side somewhere else uh, to make your paper look a little bit cleaner and make sure you're boxing it in. So final answer of 7.776 or 7 and 776 thousandths as you guys are so good at uh, doing. And that is it for question number 7. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.